So we're here with Service Blingman, president of BTS, the server. Um, tell us a bit about what you're doing today. Well, it's absolutely a great honour and pleasure to be back in Cambridge today, the city I lived in for 16 years, and where I had the great honour of starting the first Cambridge Triathlon. So I'm here for the Kids of Steel, sponsored by Tata, and watching 850 children do their very short swim and a two-lap bicycle ride and a one-lap run. What's been the most impressive part of the event so far for you? Well, all of it, actually. The great enthusiasm of the children, their slight horror as they crossed the finish line because it was a bit painful, and then the realisation they finished and they've got a wonderful medal and a very nice goodie bag, and they're rather pleased with themselves after that. So it's the sense of achievement, I think, of the children. Great. And obviously you've been involved in triathlon in Cambridge for a good few years. How has uh, the triathlon scene in Cambridge changed since you were first involved? Oh well, it's much more. It's much more well organised, much more professional. We have people working in triathlon, paid to work in triathlon, and uh, it's just a, a much more mature sport now than it was when we began way back in 1985. And it's growing really rapidly, the sport as a whole. Um, how do events like this play a part in supporting that development? Well, I think they're essential because they basically open up the the word triathlon to many, many more families. More kids can say, I'm a triathlete. They can wear a t-shirt that says that and they can tell everybody all about it. And that might well have an impact on their friends, on their family, and help us to reach into different areas of society that we haven't actually managed to reach so far. Absolutely. Obviously, we've got some great British athletes racing this summer. Um, High Park, the big event this year, taking place on the 6th and 7th of August. Um, what would you say to anyone who's thinking about going down to watch that event? Well, come and support it. The atmosphere is going to be absolutely tremendous. The noise and the bustle around the start of the swim, and then watching the athletes change in the transition area, go off on their bikes. This year, what I can say to everybody without any fear of contradiction was that the Royal Wedding was simply preparing for the triathlon in, uh, in on the 6th and 7th of August, because we're going to be going round on the bikes, round the front of Buckingham Palace, don't know whether the Queen's going to be on the balcony to wave, let's hope so. And then they'll go back and finish the run in Hyde Park. So uh, you can see a great deal from just around the Serpentine and we'd love to have the children there to watch. And of course on the Sunday there's going to be a paratriathlon as well. So the paratriathletes who've raced today and done such a wonderful job can go and see their grown-up uh, uh, colleagues, if you like, and maybe think one day they might have a chance of going and competing in the Paralympics. Great. And what's next for you now after Kids of Steel today? Well, today I want to stay for the whole day, cheer everybody on, see the various different schools, learn a little bit as well, because this is my first time this year at a Kids of Steel event, and it really grows. I went in one of the early years, and it's just, it's just grown so tremendously, beautifully organised by One Step Beyond, supported by everybody, so that's fabulous. And I'm going, where am I going now? I don't really know. I think next week, two weeks' time, I'll be at the Super Series in that's Scotland, in Strathclyde, which I'm really looking forward to. We'll have our top triathletes there. I know Tim Don's competing for sure, and I hope Helen will be there as well. And uh, then we'll see them all, how they've wintered, how good they're looking at the beginning of this season in our country. And I look forward to catching up with them and then working on towards August. Brilliant. Thank you very much.